Okay, welcome to uh, APR Studios. Uh, my name is Adrian, and I'm going to show you how you can set up sends in Pro Tools, um, or, or actually auxiliary channels, and insert reverbs and any other effects you want, so that you can then address those sends in Pro Tools by your tracks and send them to your Presonus Studio Live console. First, um, back to the two track in, thereby um, engaging the firewire button on the two track in so that you can monitor those effects. Okay, so here we have uh, a loop. Uh, this could be, you know, countless tracks, but we just got a loop. Here it is. Okay, so. What we're going to do now is we want to get a reverb on this. So we're going to go to Track, New. We're going to make a Stereo Auxiliary Track. There it is. We'll call this Reverb. We'll put in a simple reverb in here. We'll just use the, um, I think we'll just use the basic reverb here from Pro Tools. Early Reflections, let's see what we've got here. Um, medium hall, that'll do. And we are going to run that from bus 3 and 4. You can use any bus you want, but I'm using 3 and 4. And the output of that we will send to 17 and 18, which will then automatically go to your two track tape in. Okay? So, we have a track. Uh, no input, of course, because it's a loop. Uh, it's going to what I call the drum bus in this case, is basically 15 and 16 in on my Presonus Studio Live 16.4.2. And to address that reverb, I just put a send in here 2, 3, and 4. So here it is without the reverb. And if I lift up the reverb here, hear that? If I now take off the firewire return for the two track in, the reverb disappears. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can imagine if you have a session where uh, you have, say for example, 48 tracks, and um, say for example you've uh, set up some, um, Basically, yeah, if you've got 48 tracks, let's just say you're subgrouping them, okay? So your drums, say you've got a, a microphone on the inside of the drum, on the front of the drum, uh, the kick drum, and on the back of the kick drum. So you're getting the pedal sound. And on the snare, maybe you've got, um, uh, you know, like an SM57 on the front, an SM57 underneath it, and maybe a uh, condenser mic at the side to get the thwack of the actual drum itself, um, so let's say three toms, uh, two overheads, two ambient mics, stereo, and you want to get all those down to a subgroup. Uh, don't forget that you have all those on separate tracks, and so you can address then, let's say, for example, you could make another reverb, so we could say, in this case we've got a reverb here, but let's, let's make another one, another auxiliary, so we'll say stereo, aux input, create, we'll call this delay, for a guitar, for example. So again, we'll just bring in a basic uh, Pro Tools delay. I believe that's the one. Dynamic delay, we can use that one. Uh, what do we want here? We want uh, slap back delay. Let's call it that, okay? And we're going to make that bus five and six, and again, returning it to uh, our 17 and 18, which is our two track tape in. And we will then address this track to the bus five and six. Now, obviously, what that would do is we've got the reverb. Let's get that on. And now, if we lift this up, we take off the reverb. Uh, not really that much delay, so let's try some a different type of delay. And then if 
we add the reverb back in. As you can see. Okay, so let's just reiterate on that. What we've done is we've got one stereo track here. This could be as many stereo tracks as you want. And we've made two auxiliary tracks or two auxiliary buses. We've called one reverb, put in a reverb there, said that the reverb signal will come in uh, on bus three and four and the delay on five and six. And then we just go to the respective tracks and send them. Now the cool thing about this is that the effects are coming back on our desk to the two track in, which means on your mix situation, say you've got 48 tracks, you've got your buses, you've got them coming in, for example, let's say your drums are bussed to the hardware firewire returns of channels 1 and 2. So in other words, 1 and 2 will be the subgrouped version of all your drum tracks. Let's say uh, 3 and 4 will be your, uh, maybe you've got like a stereo acoustic guitar and a mandolin or something like that, and you want them on, on, on the same uh, stereo bus. Um, Five is, let's say, uh, your bass. Um, six could be your lead vocal. Seven and eight will be uh, electric guitars, clean. Uh, nine and ten can be your distorted guitars. Eleven can be your solo, and so on and so on until you get up to sixteen. Cool idea. And then what you're saying is that all those tracks that you've bussed, um, either on the buses themselves or on the actual separate instrument tracks, you can actually send them to the uh, auxiliaries that you're, you've made. So I might have, you know, I could well have uh, 16 stereo um, auxiliaries here with uh, different, you know, reverb, uh, delay, um, chorus, uh, what else, flanger, you know, uh, bit crusher, anything like that. And as long as they have the buses to come into, they're all going back onto 17 and 18, but I'm controlling them from the separate tracks. So in other words, we have our tracks, we have our auxiliaries, our effects are put into those auxiliaries, they are assigned buses here, they are returned not to the channel inputs but to the master or let's say the two track in um, which then goes to your master bus. So on mixing this is really good. Uh, if you actually want to do this when you're recording and you want the talent or you want to have a cue send and your drummer for example says look you know I want to hear that delay on my snare then what you'd have to do is you would have to subgroup it in such an effect that I would say that instead of bringing the effects back on the two track in, you can just bring them back into 15 and 16 for example, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, in fact, that's already what's happening. My drums are 15 and 16. Okay, so if I then say, okay, well then these can go to um, 1 and 2. And if you listen back now, you'll hear no reverb. Let's just get this on loop. Or delay, and if I engage the firewire on my channels 1 and 2, link them in stereo and lift up the faders, there you go. Now of course the advantage of this is that as I have the effects coming back in on uh, an actual hardware channel 1 and 2, I can then send that pre-fader to my headphones and therefore of course to uh, as a cue send to the musicians. Okay, hope this helped. Take care.